We have certainly had our vehicles damaged before, but I don't believe we've had one taken from us. Um, and I'm sure it did look to someone like, why are we chasing another police vehicle that doesn't have its lights on, uh, that's driving the wrong way through town? All right, good morning, state your name, please. Good morning, Travis Harden. And the seriousness of the safety uh, raises a lot of concern for the court. There are very sensitive items within the vehicle, computers, firearms, uh, radio systems, things like that. According to charging documents, Travis Hardy was waiting at the Law and Justice Center for a ride over to the airport. Then two employees went to talk to officers about something going on near their patrol cars. It was later found that this male had used a rock to smash out a patrol car window. And once behind the wheel, Hardy reportedly drove off towards 19th. According to court documents, Hardy got into the patrol car at about 8.26 p.m. Within four minutes, he was downtown with plenty of people walking and drivers unaware of the ensuing chase. They attempted to stop him with their lights and siren on their patrol vehicles. He didn't stop. So, um, his driving behaviors during the pursuit were extremely unsafe. In charging documents, the officer reports that Hardy ran red lights, drove into oncoming traffic, and came close to crashing into three vehicles. And then he got onto the interstate, swerving into the grassy median and back onto the highway. Just a little bit east of the East Main interchange, the subject crashed the patrol car. Crashed into a guardrail and was taken by officers to the detention center. Nothing was taken from the car and it is now in the shop in need of cosmetic fixes and a new window. We run up against the same issues that the rest of the folks who live here in Bozeman. Uh, it's tough to get cars fixed. We do have a police department mechanic. Um, however, sometimes if there's body damage or pain, we wait in line just like everybody else does. The hope is to get the car back on the streets in about a week or two. Travis Hardy is facing theft of a motor vehicle and criminal endangerment. He'll be seen again September 16th and his bond is set at $10,000. In Bozeman, Jane McDonald. MTN News.